The purpose of this video is to discuss and share information concerning nutritionally mediated dilated cardiomyopathy among pet owners, veterinarians, and veterinary students. This video is based on science, evidence-based medicine, and research. At the Veterinary Channel, we fully understand that the information that we are trying to convey is not easy for many pet owners, pet store employees, and self-called food gurus to follow initially because it is contrary to what highly successful marketing and misinformation campaigns have led them to believe. Most of the information presented in this video is based on the writings of Dr. Michelle Rose, a veterinary cardiologist from the Animal Emergency and Referral Center of Minnesota. By now, many of you have likely heard about the risk of heart disease in dogs eating BEG diets. The acronym BEG stands for Boutique Diets from Small Companies, Diets with Exotic Ingredients, and or Grain-Free Diets. In July 2018, the Food and Drug Administration announced that they were launching an investigation into the link between these non-traditional canine diets and dilated cardiomyopathy. The FDA published an update of its investigation in June of 2019. Dilated cardiomyopathy is a serious heart muscle disorder that leads to arrhythmias. Irregular heart rhythms can cause exercise intolerance and fainting. If not discovered on time, this condition can progress to congestive heart failure and sudden death. Dilated cardiomyopathy typically has occurred in large and giant breeds and usually is inherited from the dog's family line. The breeds more commonly affected by this heart condition are the Dobermans, Boxers, Great Danes, and Irish Wolfhounds. Recently, however, veterinary cardiologists have been seeing significantly higher rates of dilated cardiomyopathy in other breeds, as for example, Golden Retrievers, Australian Shepherds, Border Collies, Shizus, Miniature Schnauzers, and even Icelandic Sheepdogs. The type of diet that has received the most publicity is grain-free diets. However, the problem of dilated cardiomyopathy doesn't seem limited to grain-free diets. The link between BEG diets and dilated cardiomyopathy may be due to ingredients used to replace grains such as lentils, peas, chickpeas, and potatoes. Veterinary cardiologists are also seeing cases of dilated cardiomyopathy in non-traditionally affected breeds that are eating exotic proteins like the kangaroo, buffalo, salmon, whitefish, lamb, bison, and venison. Raw diets are not risk-free either. Even some vegan, raw, and home-prepared diets have been linked to cardiomyopathy in dogs. The specific brands of dog food most commonly named in the report by Food and Drug Administration are Akena, Zignature, Taste of the Wild, For Health, Earthborn Holistic, Blue Buffalo, Nature's Domain, From, Merrick, California Natural, Natural Balance, Origin, Nature's Variety, Nutrisource, Neutro, and Rachel Ray Nutrish. At the moment, the question of everyone working in the veterinary field is, what is causing these nutritional-related dilated cardiomyopathy cases? In a minority of affected dogs, taurine deficiency appears to be the cause, especially in golden retrievers. An insufficient amount of taurine's building blocks in the diet or reduced absorption of taurine can lead to taurine deficiency. If caught early enough, dogs who have a diet change and receive supplemental taurine can improve, and the changes in their heart muscle tissue can be reversed. However, the vast majority of dogs appear to have some other cause of nutritional-related dilated cardiomyopathy, as they have normal taurine levels. There could be a separate nutritional deficiency, an ingredient in the food that is toxic to the heart, or a combination of the ingredients in the pet food could be causing a reduced absorption of the nutrient. Even if that nutrient isn't technically deficient in the dog food, the FDA, veterinary cardiologists, and researchers are actively studying the issue to help to figure out the causes of nutritional-related dilated cardiomyopathy. The prognosis is good for patients that are diagnosed early in the disease process. The changes to the heart can be reversed with heart medications, taurine supplementation, and diet changes. Unfortunately, the prognosis is guarded to poor for patients that are already showing signs of congestive heart failure, as scar tissue formation in the heart can be irreversible when it occurs. If you are feeding your dog a boutique, grain-free, exotic ingredient, or raw diet, watch for early signs of heart disease as per example weakness, slowing down, a lower intolerance for exercise, panting, coughing, or fainting. At the Veterinary Channel, we strongly recommend that all dogs get a physical exam twice a year. 
During the physical exam, your veterinarian will listen for a heart murmur or abnormal heart rhythm and may do additional tests such as radiographs, blood tests, urinalysis, electrocardiogram, or echocardiogram. If needed, your veterinarian can also refer your dog to a veterinary cardiologist for evaluation. At the Veterinary Channel, we understand that for many pet owners, this can be the most controversial part of this video. This is understandable after years of constant marketing campaigns by food companies and the information provided by non-well-informed pet store employees. Change your dog's diet to the brand that meets the world's small animal veterinary association criteria. These brands have been formulated to meet AFCO nutritional standards and also have been tested in feeding trial and so far have not been associated with cases of nutritional dilated cardiomyopathy. Examples of the recommended brands are Hills Science Diet, Purina Pro Plan, Royal Canine, IAMS, and Yukonuba. We know that many of you are going to say, but they are not the brands that the guy at the pet store recommended me, or those are not the brands that Mr. Sassy Pants recommended in his pet blog. But there is a big difference between these brands and the ones recommended by the small boutique pet stores, and the ones that the manager and the local pet store told his employees to push on you. Like for example, Purina, Hills and Royal Canine all have board certified veterinary nutritionists on staff, as well as PhD animal scientists and PhD nutritionists that work throughout various levels of the companies. That level of expertise is something that most of the affected brands voluntarily do not have or cannot afford to have. For more information about nutritional dilated cardiomyopathy, please schedule an appointment with your local veterinarian, a veterinary cardiologist, or a veterinary nutritionist. Your local veterinary college has veterinary nutritionists on staff that for sure can answer your questions about this condition. You can even contact nutritionists of one of the recommended dog food companies. They would be more than happy to answer your questions. Remember that in fighting this condition, communication and getting information from the right sources is the key. If you like the information presented in this video, please give us a thumbs up. This would help social media algorithms to spread the information to pet owners, veterinarians, and veterinary students around the world. You can help the veterinary channel to train the veterinarians of the future by sponsoring one of our future videos. Any sponsoring, no matter how small the amount, would be used to cover part of the video production cost. Half of the proceeds would be used as a donation to cover the education expenses of veterinary students in an underdeveloped country. You can contact us by using social media if interested in helping.